If any of you need anything at all, too bad. Deal with your problems yourselves like adults. I don't understand. I was great. I was like Mark Z in The Social End. My testimony was amazing for your case. But it wasn't the truth. And neither was yours. You even called me a vegetarian. What if that testimony leaks? How will people ever respect me? <sighs> Whatever. The truth is stupid. I only tell the truth when it makes me sound like I'm lying. Yeah, lying is all I know. It's how I was able to scrape by on the streets of Bombay and make it on the Indian version of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire and get reunited with the love of my life. Latika. You could both take a lesson from Andrew. He told the truth about everything he was asked, even when it was humiliating for him. That's right. I love telling the truth. Case in point, sometimes when I blow my nose, I get a boner. I don't know why. It just happens. Truth bomb. I'm gonna call you both back in that room and you'll recant your testimony. No. You committed perjury. But more importantly, you've dishonored yourselves. Oh, brother. <sighs> they are so young, so much to learn. What are you talking about? I know, right? <laughs> Wisdom. You know, when I was 12, my brother shot me in the pinky toe with a nail gun. Granted, it was a hilarious prank, and we all had a good laugh. That's awful. But I avoided going to the doctor. I hate paperwork. After a few weeks, the toe just kind of fell off. You only have nine toes? I have the toes I have. Let's just leave it at that. The point is, the doctor said if I had come in right away, they might have saved the toe. You can't run away from your problems. Especially if you only have nine toes. <laughs> Sorry, that was uncalled for. I'm Ron Swanson, and you're Leslie <laughs> Nope. You with me? Do you fish, April? No, fish are gross. Let me give you a piece of fishing advice. I said I don't... When you have a fish on the line, you don't just drag it behind the boat. You either reel it in or you cut him loose. Especially if he's a nice fish with a big, lovable fish heart. You don't know what you're talking about. Maybe not. Maybe you really do hate Andy. Maybe moving to Indianapolis just to get revenge on him is a really good idea. What do I know? I now officially insist that you take a sabbatical. No, no. Let me finish. I used to work in a sheet metal factory, but then a job came along at the tannery. The hours were better and I would get paid. Also, I'd have the chance to work with leather, both before and after it was on the cow, which had always been a dream of mine. I didn't want to give up my sheet metal job, so I tried to do both jobs and finish middle school. How old were you? Eleven. The point is, I was so tired, I tried to puncture an eight-gauge aluminum foil with a leather awl. <laughs> wow. I learned a lesson. Never half-ass two things. Whole-ass one thing. So if you want to win that seat... Which I do. Then commit yourself, 100%. Take a sabbatical. I will cut back to 10 hours a week. Deal. Fifteen. Ten. Deal. I hired you to do one thing. Just one. I don't care that you text all day and sleep at your desk. In fact, I encourage it. But only because you were doing that one thing. Keeping this crap off my desk! Give me five minutes before the next one. That guy is scary when he's angry. God, I know. Hey, sorry, dude. I don't need your sympathy. Or yours. I wasn't offering my sympathy. Thank God! That was it, right? Uh, no, there's one more. Damn it to hell! It's with me, and it's right now, and it's about me quitting. I quit. Why are you here? Come back to work. Nah. Come back. I want you to come back. Well, I don't want to come back. The end. I was talking to Andy about you, 
And he made me realize that I need you back at work. What did he say? Don't recall. Fine, I'll come back. Good. Okay, I'm leaving. Bye, Zuzu. Bye, Duke Silver. My mom has all your albums. I recognized you the day we met. Have you told anyone? No. Good girl. This mural is called Bad Pawnee, Good Pawnee. All the terrible things that have happened in this town's history are on one side, and on the other side are all the good things that have happened. I'm on the bad side. No, you're not. Yes, I am, Ron. I'm guilty. I did something bad. I'm a bad person. It's not that simple. You know what makes a good person good? When a good person does something bad, they own up to it. They try to learn something from it, and they move on. If you're gonna take a college course, Andrew, you should explore a new subject, broaden your horizons. Eh, yep. horizons are dumb, never broaden your horizons. Yep. Just take something you're great at and get an easy A. No offense, Ron, but April's Way sounds way easier. Guitar for beginners. I value a good education, so I don't wanna see Andy waste his time in college. Of all my co-workers, he is one of a small number whom I do not actively root against. Ah, there I go, getting all sappy. We will be working on basic chords for the first four weeks. Oh my god, four weeks. I'm already bored. Of course you are, you're not challenging yourself. I suggest we sample a few more classes. Fine. Very good. Bye, everybody. Guess what? I was secretly an undercover rock star this whole time. You're the only reason we all still have jobs. I think we'll be okay. Yeah, okay. Well, I would love to chit-chat about this, but I need to keep working, okay? And keep pushing so that my breakthrough will happen and I will be ready for it. You know what? I just had an idea for a new project. Really? Yes. Yes, I think, I think this could be really good. What is it? Come with me. Right through here. Wait, what's happening? Ah! Ron! Ron, what are you doing? This is my idea. You're gonna shut your brain down and go to sleep, and I'm gonna stay out here and guard the door so you can't leave. No, Ron! You've been thinking about work nonstop for years. It's time to rest. All my binders are downstairs! Shh! All due respect, Ms. Clack, stick a German muffin in it. Fair enough, I'm just gonna go to bed. Just call it a night. I already checked, Leslie. The transom is painted shut. Damn it! Oh my god, there's like 50 cats in here. Where's Leslie? Not 100% sure. Should we reschedule or? Nope, she'll be here. Good morning. So I just slept seven hours, which is twice as long as I usually sleep. So I'm a little disoriented. But I did wake up with a million ideas and Ron would not let me have any paper. So I had to write them down on this doily. We should buy a telescope and make the old ranger station in Ramsey Park an observatory. That way we could sell tickets and have class trips. I like it. Good. We'll we could have theme night at the park. We could have singles, um, date night, uh, seniors, and we could have a citywide yard sale, which would be part auction, part antiques roadshow, and then we could have the professors from the community college come in and assign value to the objects, and then we could split the profits from the school. It would be a lot of fun. I'll see you boys later.